and welcome to InstaForex Financial News Channel. I am Marina Generalova. The U.S. jobs market has gained momentum. Again, analysts are quite pleased with its solid data. The number of claims for unemployment benefits reflecting a number of dismissals plunged to the pre-crisis level and is still keeping on falling. So, 287,000 initial claims were recorded last week. An average print of unemployment claims for the recent month nearly reached an eight-year low. Currently, analysts are focused on the pending report from the U.S. Labor Department concerning new vacancies in the non-farm sector. In August, the job market showed subdued growth, adding just 142,000 vacancies. Employment growth over 200,000 jobs is considered to be a sign of a strong labor market. According to the consensus, the U.S. labor market is expected to create 220,000 new jobs. U.S. Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen believes that jobs market still needs some support. Low unemployment rate and growth of vacancies in the U.S. are accompanied by a weak rise of wages. An average wage rate ate up just 0.2 percent in August. From Yellen's viewpoint, the official employment statistics does not reflect the actual state of affairs. To improve the situation, the Federal Reserve introduced its own indicator, Index of Labor Market Conditions. This indicator will be first published next week. Meanwhile, the employment report for September is holding traders' attention. The greenback rally has stalled by the end of the week. On Thursday, the dollar index showing the U.S. dollar dynamic against the other six major currencies couldn't hold over 86 points for a long time. Mario Draghi comments about the U.S. dollar rally to a halt while the ECB president was setting out the details of the quantitative easing program, traders rushed to purchase the single European currency. What made the market to change its stance on the euro? We'll tell you in our later news release. Stay tuned with InstaForex.